A proud Michael Glavis clubman, Dermot Early was educated at Nathies College in Ballahadrine, St Mary's College, Strawberry Hill, the Royal College of Defence Studies in London and the University of Limerick. His fine record of service over many years and his competency with the Defence Force has led to a trail of eminent promotions in the last decade. He was selected for promotion to Brigadier General in December 2003, became Major General in February 2004 and was appointed Deputy Chief of Staff support level shortly afterwards. His military style precision on the football field has long been admired too by GA fans in Nathis County. For on and off the field, Dermot Early has few peers in Gaelic football in County Roscommon. Dermot Early has played Gaelic football for Roscommon for 20 years, 1965 to 1985. He's the holder of five Connacht Senior Football Championship medals, two All-Star awards, one National League medal, 1979, 121 All-Ireland medal, 1966, and of course an All-Ireland Runners-Up medal in 1980, not to forget two Railway Cup medals. He's a modest man, but he's recognised by many as one of the finest exponents of the game of Gaelic football, as one of the greatest players to have ever taken to the field. You may have seen some of his majestic work on the video screens earlier around the ballroom tonight, but for many as a Roscommon young person and a schoolboy, there was no need to be reminded. Dermot Early's name and his style of football was used and repeated time and time again up and down the county in football pitches and schoolyards for decades. He ins he's inspired young footballers everywhere with his honest to God effort and technique and his long lasting contribution to the game. And that contribution will never be undervalued by the fact that the All-Ireland winning medal he sought so much never came his way. It never will be undervalued by that. Dermot is married to Mary. They have six children, one of whom has already shown the Masters touch on the football field, and they live, of course, in Newbridge. But tonight, Dermot and Mary are here at the Astoria World Manor, back among Roscommon people, back in New York, and back among many friends who have waited a long time to pay this fitting tribute to them. Ladies and gentlemen, Please welcome a Roscommon football legend, Major General Dermot Early. Your Excellency, Ambassador Fahey, Consul General Tim O'Connor, the various distinguished people who represent the GAA and Ireland and New York and all of the people who helped organise the function here this evening, I am absolutely delighted to be here. Um, I heard Tony O'Reilly tell a story a while ago about Brendan Behan, who went to Canada in the 50s to appear on a television programme of the, the highest standards, but Brendan, when he got to appear on the programme, was a little bit too intoxicated and had a little bit too, too much to drink. The host of the programme took him to task and said, you know, he was disappointed that the standards that were set in Canada should be undermined in this way, and he would have expected that the um, guest from Ireland would have behaved in a better manner. And Behan replied that, a week or two, uh, or two previously, he had been in Dublin having a quiet drink. And he noticed on the table there was a beer mat. And on the beer mat it said, drink Canada dry. <laughs> He said, he said, I'm here to have a go. <laughs> well, well, I'm here to have a go as well tonight, ladies and gentlemen, and I am absolutely honoured beyond anything I could say at the tremendous reception I have received in coming to New York again uh, this particular weekend. And I want to thank everybody who was here and who supported um, Roscommon and everything about Roscommon over this weekend. And all of the people who put in so much great work to make the occasion so special. And, and that speciality has um, evolved over 
a number of weeks, a number of months um, in coming together for this weekend by a huge number of people who work so hard to create something that the tide couldn't turn back. And that tide was the, the involvement of so many people who came from Ireland to, Roscommon this, to New York this weekend, from Roscommon, and the massive undertaking of the reception for all of us who came here to uh, enjoy, appreciate, meet friends, be involved again uh, to support the Primrose and Blue. And in every single activity that has been undertaken, I compliment everybody, I thank everybody, I ensure, uh, encourage everybody to maintain the momentum because something special has evolved, has begun. And that special, special feeling that is in the county, that atmosphere, that spirit that is required for a county to advance is, is, is there at the present time and has come together, not necessarily within the county, but here in New York on this weekend. And I think that is, that is special, it is, it is wonderful, and I think that um, the county will go from strength to strength because of it, not just in the element of sport, but also in many other elements as well. Recently, I have been involved in um, undertaking a role to promote Roscommon to the best of our ability, wherever we go, um, by a number of people. And to do that, um, it, it, it is important to take every opportunity that comes our way to, to tell people about what Roscommon can offer and what Roscommon has. The first thing I think that it has more than anything else is an understanding of the teamwork that's required to achieve anything. And that teamwork is evident in this particular weekend. I think I said in a little message to Jimmy Nocton, who was involved in organising so much of this, that teamwork to get this in place, both sides of the Atlantic, was important. When we, when we think of, of what Roscommon needs to achieve and what, what we need to do to go forward as, as a team, I look at the statistic that the County Council puts out under our great County Manager at the present time to promote the County to the best of our ability. You know that in all of Ireland, in all of Ireland, no other county has three mainline rail, railways going through it. At Lone to Ballinas, Slow on to Galway, at Lone to Castlery, on to Westport, down across Boyle into Sligo. We have the longest border on the River Shannon of any other county. We have the most wonderful, most wonderful um, tourism that is to be offered anywhere in the world, from Loch Key down to the other end of the county towards uh, Bally Forden and, and the River Suck and everything that is part of, of our county. We have the highest level of broadband and next year all of the county will be broadband accessible. We have the highest education statistics, the lowest crime rate and all we need, all we need is support from everybody like we have this weekend in achieving what we have achieved here. And all of, the, all of that, the icing on all of that cake comes from the performance of the senior football team. Because that's what unites a county more than anything else. And I must compliment the young men of Roscommon whom I have had the privilege of meeting over this weekend who represent us at the present time, very young, learning their trade under a great management team of Eamon McManus, Jerry Fitzmaurice and John Mohan. And I know that the game today was tight, as it should be. We don't expect favours. We want to have a contest. We want to be able to fight to the bitter end and if it's tight, to come out on top. And that's what happened today. And we don't uh, expect easy games. But above all the other things that make up our county, the thing that unites Roscommon people more than anything else, anywhere, 
is the GAA and the performance of the senior team. And I think, I think from the quality of the people I have seen, from the efforts and the structure and the goals of the management team, I think we have a group of people who can achieve great things for us. And whether, whether we win or not, it doesn't matter. What matters is that our performance is at the highest level and that no matter when we play, we are going to compete to the maximum of our ability and that everybody that supports us will be so proud. And I think there is a pride in the county at the present time, a spirit that has united the county in a particular way and it has come together in New York. And I am delighted so much about that. I know that, I know that the, the um, references have been made to the Defence Forces and John and I have worked together and served together for a long number of years and I know him so well. Other people here have service in the US Forces and other forces. Um, one of the things that we are involved in in the Defence Forces is in conflict resolution. And friends of mine have sent to me recently um, one of these great emails that you get which compares all the counties of Ireland to areas around the world where conflict is raging and where it is ne necessary to try and, and, and intervene. And without insulting any county in particular, I will just make three comparisons and, and illustrate to you what, what I am saying. The first one is that Al-Qaeda, whom we all know, they equate Al-Qaeda to County Meath. <laughs> they take no prisoners. The second one is that Kildare, where I live, is equated to Palestine. You know, they'll make friends with anybody and take anybody at all into their group, like Kildare have done so many times in the past. <laughs> and the third one, the third one, is Roscommon and Japan. Last big campaign in the 40s. We want, it's a while ago, we will have another big campaign shortly, I, I, I know well, very well. The last thing I would just like to say is again, in thanking everybody, uh, the GA has been wonderful to me. I've had a most wonderful uh, time as being a member, as a juvenile, as a senior, as somebody involved in management, as somebody involved in administration. It has been a uniting force for, for Ireland. It has created the spirit that's required to achieve at the level we are achieving at the moment, the Celtic Tiger, how wonderful it is that all of us can come here over this short period of time, something that would never have happened 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago, or that we may never have dreamed of. The GA has, you know, the, 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 the um, status of historic and listening to people in the past and what they have done and how you look up to them and so on. And recently, I was driving into Roscommon Town very late at night. It was uh, very drizzly, wet, and there was a young fella coming on the road, and I pulled up and picked him up. Got into the car, and we drove up into Roscommon, and just as we were passing the hospital, Hyde Park comes into view. And as soon as I saw Hyde Park, I said to the young fella, did you ever play in there? Or Jay, he said, I did many times. I said, I had a good few days there myself. I said, in a Connacht Championship match, on a very wet day, against the breeze, I kicked a 50 into the wind straight over the bar. He says, I know that. I says, how old are you? I'm 16, he said. I was gone on another 20 yards. I said, in a league match against Cork, we were level. They were all Ireland champions. A minute ago, Pat Lindsay went to the clouds underneath the crossbar, I said, caught the ball, passed it out to me, and I cleared it off the field. He says, I know that. I said, we got a penalty against Sligo in the Connacht Championship. 
I took the penalty. The goalie saved it, but I got the rebound and like Jimmy knocked and I stuck it in the back of the net. <laughs> he says, I know that. Now, I'm down at Casey's garage at this stage. Peter is here, I think. I'm down at Casey's garage and I, reality comes back and I says, God, what am I talking about? And I says to him, you're 16 years of age. It's 22 or 23 years ago since I stopped playing. How do you know all that? He's, Jizz, he says, you told me all that the last time you gave me a lift. <laughs> It's an absolute delight, pleasure, privilege, honour. <laughs> Hugely humble to be with so many friends. People who have supported me as a player in Roscommon and as a player in New York. When I was asked to come over, I could not say no. I'd just like to say thanks to Eugene, um, all of the people who have, who have been involved, to Junior Smith, who asked me on the telephone, to the county chairman, Michael McGuire, to Larry Brennan, who I've known for years, who was the, who was the man who made Seamus Hayden a good footballer. <laughs> and, and, and to Michael Fahey of a great family, whom I had the privilege of, when I played for Connacht for the first time, the secretary of the Connacht Council was JJ Fahey, the father of our esteemed ambassador to the United States. So seeing so many people, seeing so many friends, all I can say is thank you. Thank you.